Welcome to the Caroline Carp Artist Paint With Me series, Sunflower Six, where I show my journey of creating six sunflower paintings that are acrylic on canvas. You will see time-lapse, slow motion, and real-time clips of me painting six paintings simultaneously. I spent the last few weeks of the summer of 2020 in quiet reflection and flooding my world with sunflowers. It was the moment right before the school year was to begin and I would have to leave the safety of my Safety Harbor studio and venture over the bridge to Tampa. I was happy to see my beautiful little classroom on the lake, but I was also not so happy with the conditions still existing in our world. COVID cases in this area were at an all time high and I just couldn't understand why I needed to be put at this risk. I guess being outdoors on our beautiful lakeside campus is a truly transcendent, exper transcendent experience for an artist like me. And I was able to harness the anxieties I had into creating beautiful art. This difficult period was a great time of growth and creativity. Just like a sunflower, I spent my days allowing myself to grow. Not many people knew of my struggle, but eventually all knew of my light. In this video, I'd like to share my paintings and insight with you, along with lovely quotes. I hope that these little nuggets of joy come to you at just the perfect time. Once a week, I work virtually with artists around the world, painting and creating together. I started this collection of paintings there with my virtual group in my tropical outdoor garden studio in sunny and hot Safety Harbor, Florida. If you've been following me for a while, you know that sunflowers bring me joy and strength. I hope that the words and images go straight to your heart. Some people see sunflowers as a reminder of summer and all the wonderful times and connections made during that time. Some people find them nourishing in ways that they can't even put their fingers on. What I really love about my sunflower paintings are the colors. Very bright and the blue complements the flowers perfectly. So here's a quote. Nourishing yourself in a way that helps you blossom in the direction that you want to go is attainable.
and you are worth the effort. Unknown. Here's something that I know about myself. When I'm working through a troubling situation, I paint beautiful sunflowers. That's what I'm doing here in this video. I do have my eyes and ears open to what is going on in the world, and it is all just a little too political for me. And when things get a little too close for comfort, I paint. I always have. Painting is centering and transcendent for me. This is what I hope my sunflowers make you feel. Absolutely worthy without a doubt. Sunflowers are the light in the darkest corners of the world. To me, they represent strength, confidence, and love. Sunflowers are grounded from within as anchors of unshakable courage and empowerment. Another quote. When we say no, or when we follow our dreams or true callings, people might be disappointed in our choices. Allowing people their disappointments set us free. Christine Kane. And another, staying real is one of the most courageous battles that we'll ever fight. When we choose to be ourselves, the people around us will struggle to make sense of how and why we are changing. Brene Brown. This same concept can be written and painted in so many imaginative ways. Just know for me, it can be quite challenging to be fully myself and be real. For now, this is my work. And as Brene Brown says again, one day you will tell your story of how you overcame what you went through and it will be someone else's survival guide. Sunflowers have a special significance to me, and I've made several versions of them. Yellow, for me, is an emblem of happiness. The sunflower is a symbol of devotion and loyalty. In their various stages of decay, these flowers also remind me of the cycle of life and death.
I'll always remember the strange summer of 2020 as the summer of sunflowers, sailboats, and lemons. Yes, I said lemons. Strangely, we started to use lemons in all sorts of way during this time of sheltering in place. We made lemonade and frosty lades like ice cream floats, lemon cakes and puddings, lemon custard, lemon custard cake, and of course, lemon squeezed on so many foods. And yes, we binged on Liz Lemon on the Netflix. I hope this video gave you some perspective on this strange summer of 2020. And like I said, with everything I do, the intention is that it's uplifting because at the end of the day, joy and wellness are at the top of what I want to put out into the world. So if you wanna see more enlightening content, please subscribe to the Caroline Carp Artist YouTube channel. And if you really and truly love what I do, and if you want to give the video a thumbs up and a comment, please go for it. I would love that. And hey, you guys, I have so much new work on my website, and I'd love for you to take a look there. It's at www. CarolineCarpArtist.com And I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. When I read this quote, I think about what it is like to paint my sunflowers in sailboats. I feel like it will take me so many years to fully explain what I mean. My hope is that I won't have to use words and you will simply get a sense of what the passion behind my work is. I'd like to share a refreshing intention. Here's the thing. With everything I do, the intention is that it's uplifting for the viewer and for me, Caroline.